Good evening, good evening, and happy Friday. Welcome to Cultivating Conversations. We made it to another week, yay! And happy Women's History Month. I am your host, Stacey T. Cultivating Conversations is a podcast where we have thought provoking dialogue about life, love, the pursuit of happiness, everything in between. And as customary every week after our conversations in my lives, I'm hoping that the content, the topic will cause you to be encouraged, inspired. Um, hopefully a seed was sown that will cultivate in your heart and mind and cause you, if you need to have a conversation with yourself, friend, loved one, whatever it takes, I just want to see everyone living their absolute best life. So like I said, tonight, well, this month starts um, Women's History Month. And if you are new to my podcast, welcome. If you're not new, then you know that last year I um, did a similar series in March with a whole bunch of trailblazers and and some, some great... Um, women that were making their mark in the present and the future and all of that good stuff. So this year I have um, a, a, a new set of dynamic women, except for one, who I have um, coming back tonight, who's, who's coming back for this Women's History Month. Um, and she's kicking it off just like I believe she kicked it. No, she didn't kick it off last, last year, but she's kicking it off. This year, she is a veteran. She's a veteran to Cultivating Conversations. She's a veteran to my Women's History Month um, podcast episodes. And she is literally um, a veteran. So her name is Anika Bell. I'm going to allow her to introduce herself. But what I'm going to say to her is that she is phenomenal. She is dynamic. She is a shot caller. Like I said in my post when I was introducing and, and marketing and promoting um, tonight's podcast, she is she exemplifies the word pivot in more ways than one. We've been talking about the word pivot um, during the, uh, the, the pandemic, but even before that, she pivots. She, she, she's a goal getter. She's a goal getter and a goal, let's look in my eye, a goal getter. Um, she's a friend. She is my accountability partner and, uh, she has had a very long week. So I am going to be respectful of her time and I am going to bring her on. So without further ado, I want to introduce to some and present to others Anika Bell, who is the president of Celebrities Quality Painting. Hey, lady. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm here. I am doing good. I'm excited. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we're not going to prolong this. I want you to introduce yourself and then we're going to start having this cultivating conversation. Sounds good. Good evening, everyone. My name is Anika Bell. I am the owner of Celebrities Quality Painting. I'm a wife. I am a mother. I am a doctoral student. What else? I mean, I'm just... A lot of things, a lot of amazing things. And I'm so happy to have this conversation with you all. Great. Okay, so let's kind of pick up from last year when you was here. So okay. I, I didn't watch the episode from last year, but I do remember last year you was talking about, um, you know, you had a uh, celebrities boutique that was in Teaneck, New Jersey, and you were talking last year about getting into the maintenance area and getting into, you know, the painting and all of those things because there was, um, there wasn't a lot of women, particularly black women, um, in that area. And you were kind of like in the beginning stages of getting that set up. Um, so tell us, tell us where you are now, like what, what is happening in 2022 post 
kind of almost post pandemic and a whole year later, what's, what's going on? <sighs> okay. So last year, um, so what happened? The wait, the reason why I, I I couldn't hear you. It was a little choppy, but mm -hmm. the re last year, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to piece it all together as I heard it. Last year, I made a decision to go into the construction industry full time because I saw that there was an opportunity. Uh, I took advantage of the opportunity with, I saw that there was a gap in the industry where we, when I say we, I'm talking about women and I'm talking about black women, you know, and women of color, should I say, that there wasn't a lot of us um, in the construction industry. And when I, when the beauty business wasn't doing as well as I wanted it to do, then I was like, you know what, let me just tap into it. And so I just was like, I'm going full time, giving it my all. Uh, and so when I made the decision to give it my all and go in to it full time, that's when the opportunities really came, right? And so I went to networking events and that's how I landed my biggest deal to date, uh, just by shaking hands, introducing myself, being transparent, telling that builder that I, you know, I was looking for an opportunity and he said, okay, give me a call my office on Friday. And that's how it all just went down. And after that, it just, it's like a domino effect. Uh, so, you know, I really, really see that it's all in our minds. When we make a decision to just do it, then, you know, God will just show up and be like, okay, if that's what you want to do, let's see. And that's how it happened. And I'm just, I can't believe it. My mind is blown. <laughs> wow. Okay. So let's, let's talk about, um, because obviously you are a fashion woman, right? You you love fashion, beauty, it seeps out your pores, you exude it, you exemplify it. Um, and a lot of times as entrepreneurs, it will be like one of those things that we love, one of the things that we are known for that we do. And we hold on to that. It's like your baby, right? So- yes. The transition from coming out of fashion and beauty, not, not that you're totally, you know, a, out of it. You, you, you still are who you are, but mm -hmm. pivoting into a whole different arena. Like how, how did you feel about that on the onset? Like kind of putting one thing on the back burner that you love mm -hmm. um, and totally going into um, something else. And before I go any further, before you answer that, I just wanted to say, cause I don't think I said it to you. Thank you for your service because you oh. are a United States veteran. Yes. You are a black woman. So thank yes. you <laughs> black woman veteran for your service. But anyway, that, that, that's the question. Like, how did that feel? So it's so funny that you said, thank you for your service, because that's what I was going to talk about. So what a lot of people don't know is that back in 1998, I had joined the military and in the military is where my construction, which I didn't even realize it, right? That's where it all started. Um, I was told by my rec recruiter, he said, oh, you don't have to pick a job. Um, just go in, take the ASVAB, uh, which is the test you take, the assessment test you take before you get into the military. And that test is what uh, let you see what you qualify for as far as the job goes. So because he made it seem like it was no big deal, I took the test. I didn't score high and I ended up on the paint team. And so I painted aircraft carriers back in 1998, totally ignored that that was actually in the construction industry. I just thought that it was hell and I couldn't believe that that's what I was doing. So <laughs> And it wasn't fast forward now from 1998 until around 2018, not around, it was definitely July, 2018. When I had the conversation with a woman, she, she called me and she said, you know, uh, we were hired to call black, you know, women of color. And I keep saying black because I'm black, but we were hired to call women of color, right. Uh, to find 
um, industries where the government can do business with them. And unfortunately, women open up nail salons, hair salons, you know, we do beauty products and we, you know, like um, nails and the government really doesn't have a need for those businesses. Mm -hmm. She said, Give, tell me a little bit about yourself. And when I told her my background in the military, she said, girl, you're in construction. You know what I mean? And so now this is right, right in the middle in 2018. It was like, I was never thought about it. Like I'm all beauty, everything beauty, right? Right. <laughs> And so when she was talking to me, she was like, we have all this money and nobody's um, utilizing it. And so when we hung up the phone, I went to my husband and I said, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to just go all in. I had no idea what I was doing. I just knew that she said that there was a need and I went all in. And that's how I started. So people look at me as this beauty person because that's what they know me as, because that's what I've marketed myself as, because I didn't even know that other part of me was there. Like I totally ignored it. And so um, once she sparked that in me, I'm like, oh shoot, I can do this. And so now it's like, how do I convince people or not convince them, just let them see that, yes, I can, I'm still in beauty. I still love it. I still show on, show up to job sites with lashes on. I mean, right. I couldn't, I don't get my nails done anymore. I mean, I just do a, a, a manicure. However, I am a construction worker. I own this business. I can get dirty just like you can, you know, mm -hmm. hire me just like I can beat your face. I can beat your walls. Right. You understand? You better, you better pivot. <laughs> I, I Love it. Exactly. I write that down. That's right, good. I, I don't even know where that came from. You woke me up, right? <laughs> you better write that down. Ooh, yes, just like I can beat your face, I can beat your walls. Yeah. So I, you know, that that was good. That was good. That was good. I'm right. gonna write that down for you. I'm not gonna let you. Thank you. That. I, I didn't bring a pen. I was I was real focused. I got you. <laughs> Thank I got you. you. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on now. Just you know, allowing people to trust me. Right. And so mm -hmm. I'm, I, that, that's uh, that's why I said I'm just so excited. And that's why my tongue gets twisted because of the excitement, you know, of seeing that this thing is it, it's real and it's so it's much happening. money to be made. Yeah, man. And I was sitting on it for so many years, but I know that, you know, it, it happens when it's supposed to happen. Right. OK. Yep. I had a, I had a thought. I had another question based okay, on something okay. you said. Because no, 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 you're fine. Because. Because this is this is this is just very intriguing to me because you started out. We typically want to do things that we're passionate about, like straight out the gate. Like right. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about, um, you know, making people feel beautiful with you know their body bombs. Where I'm passionate about people reading my book and you know, but then you find something that you're not passionate about but there's a need for it yeah and and a lot i feel like that is that is a a mindset regarding business that we don't really travel down and i think in, in my reason and i think that it's because we spend so much time with secular job and secular not <laughs> you know with, with with corporate jobs we right. spend so much time with corporate jobs and we're doing things that we do not like that has to pay mm -hmm. the bills so when you think right. about entrepreneurship you you automatically think about i want to do something that i love but this is not something that you loved on the onset so do you know like what what that that when that aha moment came or was it really like this can be lucrative it's something that i know how to do i will learn to like it because it's mine because i feel like i feel like i'm talking i'm talking with, i'm talking no this you're doing so good you you're an amazing host i think you really oh. need your own television show i'm just saying uh because that was a great 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 question so when we are in our businesses I mean, I don't even know how to answer. It's so good. No, I know how to answer. I'm trying to answer it the right way. Just like right. you asked me. Um, so the reason why I went into beauty is not because of the clothes I was selling, the accessories I was selling. It was because of the reaction of the people. 
seeing when people put the clothes on and the accessories or whatever beat their face and they felt good. You understand like the transformation. Yep. So mm -hmm. that's what I loved. And I realized that. So it's the same thing. So I'm chasing that feeling of the pleasure or the whatever that is, the, pe the, the, the end that my customer feels. So whether it doesn't matter if it's beauty, it doesn't matter if it's painting, you know, doing their floors, it matters how they feel afterwards. So that's how I put this whole thing together. Right. So and, and, and that's what I'm chasing. The, the When I make the call to the work to my employees and I say, hey, I have a job and hearing their excitement because they're able to feed their families, they're able to pay their bills. That's right. what I do. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it's really yeah. about if you think about it, is it really about your product or is it about your customer? Yeah. You, you know, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Like it is about the product, think, yeah. but it's about you love when people be like, oh girl. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah. they're that's what it is. That that's yeah. that part. Yeah. I hope I yeah. answered and, it the right way. No, no, you did. It's it's absolutely correct because I was talking with um actually my guest for next week. I was on with her on Instagram live um like a month ago or two mm -hmm. months. No, it was in December. And I was talking to her about knowing your why. Like why why are why are you doing what you're doing? Period. And and I was talking about me personally and I said, you know, my and, and you said it like the beauty industry, black beauty. I, I hate to use the word saturated because I feel like we're the only ones that say that about ourselves. Like everything right. is saturated. Like they could only be one or only be five, or only be 10 right. when it's all these dishwashing liquids and, and all of this, exactly. whatever, you know, but for me, my why for doing it is based on my story because how I made myself feel. So when somebody comes to me and they say like, like I was feeling down and I woke up the next morning and I still smelled like I was on a tropical island or, you know, the eucalyptus experiment got rid of my migraine and, you know, I felt like at ease, you know, it, be, it my story is not the typical, but I couldn't find anything for my skin. Like you, you, my, right. my, but it's my story and the reaction of people. It's not about the money. Not that I don't welcome the money, but it's right. not about the money. It's not about me being able to say I'm a, a, an entrepreneur, a beauty influencer. I make stuff like, it's not even about that. It is about making people feel good. It is about the exactly. experience. And I feel like with entrepreneurs, like you, you had a trans Preferable. I'm trying to think of the word. Like you had the reason why you was able to pivot and transition was because your your why is your why is transferable. Mm -hmm. the, the the common hey. thread, the common thread of the bottom line of why you do anything that you do, anything. literally can transfer from one business to another. And I think that's how entrepreneurs are able to have multiple businesses. How do I go from a beauty brand to a book? Right. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Why? Yeah. It's the, it's the same reason. So I, I feel like we didn't crack the code. You, you I know. The code or exactly. So think about it. When you made the statement um, saturated, I wanted I wanted to go back to that statement. Mm -hmm. Like I said in my introduction that I was in school, I'm, I'm, I, I said it was, <laughs> I'm in school for my doctorate degree, as you know. What is a doctorate degree? It's research. So if you go, if you talk to anybody, right? So the research has been done in most instances. Very few times have some, is, some, are, is somebody researching something that just does not exist. Mm -hmm. All they say is just add a little drop in it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you are ready. Now that's yours. Right. right. You, you opened another portion. So just like in our businesses, if you add a little drop of something different, just a little, whatever that something is, that's what gives you that competitive advantage. So it's so what? It's so many people doing it. Right. You just add your little thing. Think right. about what is your and it, it doesn't it. 
a mustard seed. Right? Like, right. It's different. Yeah, literally, it can be the same thing, but very different. And exactly. this is no. Go ahead. I don't. I don't want to interrupt you. No, no, no. That's what I, I just want people to understand that. So for yeah, the, for the people who are watching that feel like, oh, I'm not going to do X, Y, Z because they their right. mindset is saying did saturate. No, don't think like that. Right. What you were supposed to be thinking about is okay. Fifty million people have X, Y, Z, but I'm going to do this. Or right. I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you have to change and the way. Not even do. about it being better. I mean, we right. all know it's better, but it's about it being different. I remember talking to someone exactly. who who has you know um, a natural skincare line, and. They, they were like getting it up and running and everything. This was some years ago. And she inboxed me and was like, and, and I know her. She inboxed me and was like, you, and, and this is something that we also seldom don't always do. Mm -hmm. um, she inboxed me and said, I just want to let you know that you really inspire me to do this thing. Like you are, she, she the, the, the exact word she used is you are my muse. She wow. said, you are my muse, you. And I could have been like, well, that's my competition. But I told her, I said, I, I'm, I'm honored. Yeah. I'm honored that you feel like that. I didn't even know that she was watching. I said, in anything that you need, any questions that you have to get you to wherever it is that you want to be and right. want to go in your business, let me know because there's certain things that I've done you know, a mistake that you don't have to do. And she was like, wow, I appreciate that because many people wouldn't say and offer that. And I'm like, but why? Right. You, you're you not me. You're not, I mean, I didn't say this to her, no, but, but you're, you're never going to be me. Never. And what you have and what you develop, I can't do. Exactly. So, yep. And that's you know, why we need to, yeah. We need to share... <laughs> That's what holds a lot of us back is the fact that everything, like, we want to be like this, right? right? And in reality, if we think about it, we we only are where we are because somebody else gave information, right? right. And so yeah. what I tell people all the time is that God gave us strengths and weaknesses, and he did it for a purpose. Because he could have gave Stacy everything. She could have been a great accountant. She could have been a, a great marketer. She could have been a great everything, right? Mm -hmm. But he said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give Stacy X, Y, Z, but I'm going to give Nika X, Y, Z so that they can work together. That's why he did it so that we can work together as right. a people, as his children. Right. You understand? Think about it. If he could do anything, why did he give us everything? Right. It was purposely done. He's very strategic. Yeah. And so yeah. we need to understand that we need each other because the more you give out, the more people are going to pour in. And yeah, you're, you're, you understand mm -hmm. it, this is the way we work together. And if we keep that in mind, we can do so much more. We can be so much greater because how can we ask God to give us more when we're not even giving anything? That's not fair. You think he's just right. going to give you everything? Who do you right. think you are? <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, it's like, I think it's like, like, like the Dead Sea. Like everything, water goes into it, but nothing comes out of it, mm -hmm. so nothing can live in it. Exactly. Well, so how 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 you can't you can't keep it to yourself. You can't. You know, yeah. we need we will be so powerful, and we would we would grow so much, and it may you us just having this conversation and we talk, mm -hmm. we don't talk often, but when we talk, we talk, we talk. you know, but just <laughs> this conversation, I feel like, okay, well, okay. Well, what, what else you got? What else am I supposed to do that may not necessarily be related to what I'm doing now? And that is fine. Exactly. It's fine. Right. Yep. It, it is fine. People stay in places because they're like, well, I can't do X, Y, Z because they're going to look at me, you know, like, oh, how she started um, 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 painting walls if she's doing makeup. You understand? Like, I don't care about that. You know that. Right. I will yeah. make I will make another page and be like, all right, y'all, come in, whatever. If there's a need, I'm going after it. And right. you have we have to stop worrying about what people say. Because you know what? A lot of the people that support me the most are the people that don't follow me on social media. The people that don't even know me. Right? Mm -hmm. And so that's that's how it is. Don't get, 
the people that are saying things, I'm like, you're the one that never even supported anyway. So why would I care about what you say? You're, right. So we just have to stop worrying about those things and then mm -hmm. step out on faith and believe that it's going to happen. Put that work in and watch it happen. It will come to pass. I'm telling you, I'm I'm a, I'm just a living witness. That's all yeah. I can say. 100%. Let's yep. talk about, um, and so, so let's, let's pivot a little bit from what okay. you just said and yes. talk about the importance of networking, because a lot of times we get stuck with assuming or hoping that those who know us are going to be our biggest supporters and we pigeonhole ourselves and don't allow our businesses to grow to the capacity that it can grow because we want to keep our stuff to the confines of what is familiar to us and mm -hmm. what we know. Talk, talk about how, how um, networking has got celebrities quality painting. Yep. Is it incorporated? Yes, it I is. Want to add it. Okay. Cause I just, I just yeah, want it to add it. Okay. <laughs> um, tell me how, how networking has gotten celebrities, painting incorporated to where it is to, to date. Okay. That's good. Good, good, good. Huh. So a lot of people are nervous when they go into events, right? Like some people don't even go because they're like, oh my God, I can't go, you know, to talk to these people, to introduce myself. Well, me, I'm also the same person. I feel the same way. However, the difference is I just go ahead and I do it. Right. And so I will like right now I'm, I don't, I'm in a hotel in Florida coming from a five-day event where I was one of six people out of hundreds, Black per woman, right? So it was only like three women, and I was the mm. only Black woman. And I'm in this situation where I'm with them for five whole days, you know, by myself. I knew not one person. However, I do understand that when I go home, I'm still by myself, right? I'm not with none of these people. So I needed to go to get the information that I needed to build my business. So networking is so important, especially when you put yourself where you are the minority and you are the only one. Because like when I went into the class and it's all these Caucasian men, they looked at me and I promise you, they didn't want to share the information that they had because I was in the room. However, there's hundreds of their, you know, they <laughs> <laughs> There's hundreds of other people there. So am I not going to share this information because of this one? So I walked away this week with so much information because they had to talk, right? So going to networking events is important, especially the ones where you are the, the minority, right? And is it, right. is it feel good? No, but it's necessary because now I have some of their secrets, right? They share so much with me. I would have never, if I never got on that plane, Spent that twelve hundred dollars, <laughs> and and for this information, which we don't want to spend money either, and that's another problem. How Let's do you talk expect about to, that? Yes, yeah. how do you expect to make money if you don't spend money? Yeah. And if something is free, you're not getting all the information, right? Free, you don't want to go to free things because free is just the the top of it. They don't go down. You understand? Yeah. They don't dive deep in free events. Mm -hmm. When you spend twelve hundred dollars and fifteen hundred dollars, because the total was three thousand something for five days, but I, I want a scholarship, so that's how I really made it to this event. However, it didn't matter. I was still going. If I only went the first two, it couldn't do the three. I was going to spend the money because I know I needed it. So, networking is, and it, I'm where I am today just because of networking. I knew mm -hmm. none of the people that gave me the business beforehand. I have okay. not. Paid, I only painted one house of a person that I actually knew. One, and I know hundreds of people, thousands of people. Right, right. Because <laughs> word of mouth means, and and that's we know that's the biggest, like you know, um, form of advertisement is yes. is word of mouth. But let's let's go back to that um that uh the the spending money piece because yes. oh, <laughs> you know. Investing. investing that's what it really is and that and that and that's because we don't see it as investing we see it as there's money going out but there may not necessarily be money coming in so or you you look at it as spending mm -hmm. rather than investing 
So, um, so for instance, not giving like, you know, too much or, or any information, feel free to share. But like, what is one thing that you will be able to do with your business? Again, I'm not talking about something that's like a trade secret, anything like that. No, but no, 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 no. What, what is one thing that you can do with mm -hmm. your business when you come back home after yep. this five day that you would not have been able to do if you had not come to gone to that event? and learn mm -hmm. what you learn. Like, what is something that you can do now? Oh my God, let's go back a little bit. And then if I forget the, that last part, you come back to me. Mm -hmm. Money went out, information went in. From the information that comes in, the, I, 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 I mean, okay, so this is how it went. Money went out, information came in, action is going out, Money's going to come in. The money, the return is going to come as long as I apply what, as long as I apply the information that I receive. You get it? So yeah. I'm, I only invest when I can see that there's going to be a return. That is business. Okay. And mm -hmm. so now when I go back, I took a, I took a class that was learning to read blueprints. He mm. taught us how to read blueprints because my focus is government contracting. And so when you want to do business with the government, they will send you the drawings. You have to read the drawings. You have to see what paints are used. What is the mills? These are all words that if you're in painting, you know what I'm saying. But in order for me to give them a, a, a quote, I have to learn how to read blueprints. Now, am I an expert in it? Would I still use an estimator? Of course I would right now. However, I don't have to fully trust the estimator because I have a clearer understanding so I can kind of check things. Like, hey, I see you missed the eight doors that they said was on the north wing. I could never do that before. I, I It was just a piece of paper with all these lines. I mean, right. I knew what the doors looked like, but I didn't understand what. how did I measure it with an architect ruler. Like, I never used an arch architect ruler until I came here this week. Wow. I never knew the... I mean, I knew area equals length times width, but I didn't know how to see that on a drawing. You, you get what I'm saying? And yeah. so, girl, I learned systems. Like, we need systems in our business. And mm -hmm. I met some amazing people. I have a meeting on Thursday with the um, two women that I met. Like, I learned so much that my mind, that's why before I came on, I had to take a nap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Today was the last day it's and my brain overload. <laughs> when I tell you, so what did I learn? That was just one out of hundreds of things that I learned. And the networking huh, from people from other, one woman came from Jamaica. She owned a painting store. That was one of the six black women, I mean, black people that were there. It was only six of us in total. She wow. owned a whole paint store. And she, she flew from Jamaica, the country, not Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> Okay, don't get it twisted. Because she saw, she knew that she needed more information and she wanted to know what it looked like on the other side. I sell the paint, but what are the painters doing? Wow. Maybe I, you see what I'm saying? So if you can invest and come from Jamaica to Florida just for a conference, that's what I'm talking about. That's the person I want to be connected to. So now when I go on vacation, I got somebody, we can still go and talk business because I love business. Business is, I mm -hmm. love it. Business so you understand the beach? <laughs> right, exactly. So we have to really, really stop looking at it as spending. And like you said, look at it as investing. It's a it's two different things. Right. 100 percent Different things. Yes. Okay. So for, so for the person, I'm I'm so fired up. I don't I forgot that I was hungry, but I you remember now. <laughs> no, so for the person who has that entrepreneurial spirit, mm -hmm. but they're not sure what it is they want to do. And, and we kind of touched on it a little bit, but maybe, you know, there's something else that you can lend. How can a person start the process? Because at the end of the day, everybody's process is their process, right? But exactly. somebody is saying, I want to come out of, you know, this job that I'm at, or it's the job is not um, meeting my financial demands. And we all know how everything is a little 
crazy out here in these streets. Um, I want to do something, but when I look at this one and I look at that one and everyone is doing their passion, everybody's doing what they, you know, want to do. And, and I don't know what I want to do. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give to that person? Thank you, Stacy. I think that you just, I don't know. Cause you just ah. ask the best <laughs> questions and you make it. So I've been on panels where they make it difficult and you're making this easy. Um, so mentoring. There's two types of mentoring. There's formal and there's informal. Now I'll educate you. Formal is when you actually go to a person and you ask them, can you be my mentor? This is what I need. Can you fill this need that I have? Informal is when people would say, oh yeah, Tracy's my mentor. And Tracy had no idea she was your mentor, right? So Tracy's really not doing anything for you. You think Tracy Tracy can do so much if she would have known, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's that's what my dissertation is. The impact that mentoring have on women of color who are entrepreneurs. I, I want to test that. That is what I'm, I'm, researching oh. right so i want to take someone who so if anybody's out there and that's you are that person this is you are the person that i need to talk to because i want to follow your journey on how did this mentor help your business and if for the people that are in business already where were your sales when you before a mentor and what was your sales after you found a mentor right so why i say don't go to just a person that is in business because it, that's different, right? If, if you just call me and say, hey, I want to start a boutique and can you tell me X, Y, Z, then I'm just going to tell you some information and that's it. But your mentor is going to take you step by step like, hey, okay, your first step is you need to do X, Y, Z, right? And then, then come back to me when you're done. So you only find a mentor when you're ready because I get a lot of calls where people just be like, like after this, this um, podcast, okay, I'm ready now. I'm right. going to do it. And then you lose that drive and that motivation, right? So, but your mentor will have hold accountability. Like, hey, you called me two weeks ago. This should have been done already. So when you're serious, that's when you ask somebody, can they be a mentor? If they say yes and they have enough time for you, you don't ask somebody that's so busy. They're not going to have enough time. But you Mm want to ask somebody that's in the same industry as you because those people have relationships where you probably would never get into. Like for me, my mentor now is helping me gain access to capital because she has relationships with people, investors. You understand? So I have yeah. to be strategic in my men- who I choose. And I have mentoring for different th- mentors for different things because you cannot, again, do it by yourself. So I would say if you are ready and you know that you're ready and it's just not a little whim or feeling, get you a mentor. Ask them. Make it formal. And just do the work that needs to be done in order for you to be where you want to be. Right. That's good. That's good. Because I, I feel like, you know, you know, with them and, and, and finding the right mentor, because on the mentor side, they have to be willing and, and, and confident in themselves that they can mentor somebody um, without feeling like they are a threat. Right. Right. You know, so then your mentor should be at a level where you're you're not a threat to them. So they can, you know, and once you let me tell you something, when you start making money, money, you want to give back. Anyway, you want to give back because mm-hmm. think about the people, the Elon Musk and all they they have. Oh, my God. Do you think they really need? They're like, go ahead, go build an app, do whatever, you know, like whatever they doing, because they have so much of it. So find you a mentor. That's why I said, don't find somebody that is going to look at you like a competitor or that they're down here. You need somebody up here, way up, up there, way up yeah. where you're not looked at as a threat to them. And so right. they are going to give you this information. You understand? Like, because yeah. I'm not even where I want to be. However, I'm already at a point where I want to give back. And so that's how my business is also, you know, growing because even if I don't have it like that, I'm still giving. And so people see me and then they want to get the ones that's up here want to give me because they see that I'm giving. Right. Right. Yeah. So this, it, 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 it oh, it's, go ahead. it's a beautiful world that we live in. If we just it, take advantage of it. It, it is. And I feel like, you know, entrepreneurship is, um, it's a buzzword. It's, it's the it thing. 
and people oftentimes look on, they look from the outside in yep. and, and they see, you know, you're in Florida. Oh, she, you know, she, she's <laughs> booked and busy and she taking flights and this and the third and she, you know, blah, 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 blah. But we don't see people, not we. People don't see the back, the behind scenes. People don't see, you know, the 10 no's before you get the yes. Or hey, exactly. the other things you applied to and didn't get until you were blessed with this opportunity. You know, or the times of, like, talk about the times of, like, when and if you were mm -hmm. discouraged in oh, your business. God. There's so many times I was discouraged. I mean, before I came to Florida this week, I was discouraged because we have no work, right? So I realized because I'm not, like I said, I'm not where I want to be. So the last big job that we had, I had to work, right? I had to paint those walls. I had to cut those creases. I had to do that because I needed to keep as much money as I can. But I realized that working in the business. I could not work on the business. And that's why we have no business right now. No jobs, nothing in my pipeline. That's mm -hmm. not good. Right. Because these amazing employees that I have, they're out there now looking, they're working, I hope working for someone else until I call them, you know? And so that is discouraging. And so when I was here and I hear Oh my God, people jumping up out of their seats because they just landed another job. One guy showed me, he was like, look, 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 look what just happened while we sat here. He had another $10,000 job. You understand? And I had nothing. My phone didn't ring. If I, I didn't like the feeling, that's discouraging. So mm -hmm. what did I do? I told my husband, I know somebody gave, told me what to do and I'm going to apply it. As soon as Nika feet hit those, <laughs> hit that ground, right. I'm going to do it because it's an uncomfortable feeling and I don't want to lose the people that I have. I want to have work down my pop pipeline. There's going to be some things that I don't want to do. I didn't really want to do residential because, you know, it's it's kind of harder dealing with the customer like that when you can just do co commercial, you know, but I need to do residential. So that's what I'm going to do. Go mm -hmm. put some door hangers on the doors, get these things made, do some walking, get, you know what I mean? Like these right. are things I didn't really want to do, but I see if you don't like that feeling of not having work, then you're going to have to do the things that you don't want to do. And so when you see me getting skinny, it's because Nico was hitting the pavement, walking, hanging up these doors, not um, door hangers to get business for her employees. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, because I think oftentimes, just like with relationships, you know, especially with social media, you know, we like to show that everything is so fantastic and it, and it really sets people up. But at the same time, you know, if you're really passionate about what you're doing, if you really want to do what you want to do, you're not going to let things deter you. And you're going to understand that there's going to be wins and losses and challenges and, and things like that. So thank you for being transparent um, and not only sharing, you know, the discouragement piece, but also sharing how it made you feel because, you know, entrepreneurship is, 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 is it's, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not. It's, it's not for the faint of heart. We look at people and we, we see the, oh, $100,000 and they got 5 million likes and they got endorsements and they got all of this. And now they come out and say, this is what I got. And, and this is great. And you don't see just like with relationships, you pop out with a ring, but you right. don't talk about when you were single, which is why yes. my book Singlish is out now. Yes. Right, right. See, I just did that. But, you know, we, we, we do that, but we don't share, like, and I think, you know, as entrepreneurs, you know, especially women, regardless of the, the, the area that you're in, the area of expertise, the industry that you're in, it's good for us to share these, um, you know, the challenges because, mm -hmm. you know, you're still there. In Orlando, yeah. you know, exactly. you're, you're, you're still there. And and I don't know how many more days you have left, you know, or whatever, but you're still there. You're still smiling. You're still getting it, even though, like, you've taken the, the discouragement and you're using it for fuel yes. to teach you what you need to do moving forward. Yes. Two more questions. 
Okay. Go ahead. I'm you. I, 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 I ain't well, we got nary note. I ain't got nary note. I did not write a single note down. Wow. Oh, off the cuff. It's this guy. It's that God. I'm like, Lord, you going because I, I didn't, I was just tired. I was like, okay, Lord, you know, anyway, that's not far. Okay. Right, right, right. Second to last question. You okay, I'm ready. Um, okay, Jesus, bring it back to my remembrance. Bring it back. <laughs> um where do you see celebrities? Thank you, Lord. Where do you see celebrities quality painting incorporated in three years? Oh God. That just sent chills down my body. I was gonna say 10 years, but I'm like that's too long. We don't have to it don't, don't have to take 10 years. Ten years. It don't have to take five years. Let's do three years because that also represents completion, just like the number seven. Right. But we're not used to seven. So where do you see? Right. Where do you see your business in three years? In three years, I see myself as a trainer, having a location where I train our young boys and girls this trade. Uh, and that's where I want to be. I am a, which we didn't discuss, I am a professor and I teach business at Metropolitan College. And I thought I will never be a teacher. That is not, the, not the, what I wanted to do in my life. Um, but I was given an opportunity by chance and I've taken it. And I see that me pouring into others is something that I love. And then pouring into our children. Think about it. The people that started, that were painting back in the day and doing this construction, they're retiring and they're passing away. So this trade is really, we, we're, we're suffering because there's nobody really doing it. Mm -hmm. We can't, it's mm -hmm. hard. So we have to get undocumented workers to work for us. And I don't want to do that. I just don't, I mean, I do it, don't get it twisted, but I don't want to do it. And right. it's because people feel like they just don't know how, or some people feel like they know how, and they really don't. So mm -hmm. I want to have a training center where I can train people. So unemployment, so you don't have to worry about the money, right? Because unemployment would, 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 um, would pay me, Right. Veterans, your GI Bill will pay me. You understand? Right. For my children, you can come in for your summer youth employee, employment. They, The city will pay me. You get it? And yeah. so that's the goal within three years. So that's where I see myself. Education, educating, keeping this trade going. Right? And so, and if God wants me to be bigger, then I'll just be bigger than that. But right now, in three years, that is my goal. This is so good. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, last question. If there was anybody right now that you could sit I'm down with, <laughs> you can't say Jesus. No, I don't want to sit with him. You ain't going to live after that, sis. Uh -uh. <laughs> you ain't going to live to tell that story. I ain't going to tell the story. Now I'm you doing would that. not Moses. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> if you can sit down and talk with, you can sit down and talk with anybody to and I mean anybody or anybody to 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 pick their brain about like your business and, and you know just where you want to go, who would it be? Out of all the questions, this is the one that got me stuck. Right. It got it, I'm stuck because and I hope I'm not I don't get judged on this, but this is I am not a fan on, 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 on this here podcast. Thank God. Thank God. Roll my eyes. I am not a fan. Right. Fan is short for fanatic. Right. And so that that bothers me. It makes me feel uncomfortable saying it. And so but there are people. I want to talk to, I don't, there's not a specific person. And I okay. know that's not fair because you asked me who, but I'm well, just going to tell that's you. That's your answer. Yeah, because in my mind, zero per people, person came up, not one. However, I would love to talk to somebody that, are, I would love to talk to somebody extremely successful in whatever they're doing that has gone through a lot. Not the typical, I had to sleep in my car and you understand like, like yeah. person that's like me, that's bootstrapping. Like 
I just took a chance and I went, got on a plane to Florida and I was there by myself because my husband couldn't come at first because you understand, like, yeah, and I just yeah. went out there, like, but now, he, and I applied what I learned and I got the results. I actually got the results from what I learned by taking that chance. And this is how I got X, Y, Z. Like, so those are the people that mm -hmm. I want to talk to, not the people that were given something or you know, somebody left them something or right. I don't know. And so that's who I would really, really, really want to talk to. And that they actually had some kind of knowledge that can pour into me enough where it could take me to the, I can really get a shift from that conversation. Like, boom, that next level. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I don't know yeah. if I'm answering no, it right. No, it's, it's, yeah, that, well, number one, it's, that's your truth. You know, that's your answer, but it makes complete sense. It makes complete sense. It does? Yeah. Yeah. To me. You saying that? No, you know, you know, you know, I am not. <laughs> no, right. it, it makes complete sense because I, I feel the same way. And I, and I asked myself that and I'm like, I don't know who I would want. Like nobody, because I think this is going to be the question I ask everybody. So I hope none of my other um, guests is watching. Right. You know, but I'm going to ask, you know, because I feel like, you know, we're, you know, when you, when, when there's certain things you're trying to figure out and not figure out, like, give me the formula so I have it so I don't have to work hard. But right. sometimes, you know, it's hard to find that person that, that will really be able to scratch that part of your back that you can't get to, but you exactly. know that it's itching, you, you know, and, and, and you just need that just so that like everything can click and fall yeah. into place. Um, yes. You know, and either it's one person that you would love to talk to. And then it's, it's just the type of person mm -hmm. that you would want to talk to. So that, that makes right. sense. That makes complete sense. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that, I mean, maybe one day it'll change, but that's the way I feel right now. Yeah. Right. And I just yeah. want to be surrounded by people that like today, even though, I mean, this week, even though I was that only, I'm not, not the only black person because the young lady that owned the store in Jamaica, mm -hmm. we connected the last two days. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt good being around and even she's doing really good. Cause I saw, I looked over at her phone and I was like, Oh shoot. You understand? Like I want my bank account to look like that. <laughs> right. Um, right. Right. But that didn't the, seeing other people make money excites me because I know that the money's out there. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I'm ch even changing that. I'm no longer an entrepreneur, but I'm a business owner. Right. Because that entrepreneur to me now sounds like here. It's watered down. It's watered down. Yeah. Business owner is different. You have your systems yeah. in place. You're like now, business owner doesn't mean that I made one hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? It doesn't mean that. However, but now I'm doing diff things differently. I'm no yeah. longer just doing whatever. You understand? Like now, yeah. I'm strategically running this business. Right. Right. And so, yeah, yeah I'm changing that. That's it for me. So you'll never hear me say that again. And if I say it, I'm going to be like, oh, no, 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 no. Take that. Out. I'm not. I am a business owner. Right. But but you see, even in, you know, the the social media marketing that I created, I don't use the word entrepreneur. I put mm, it in a hashtag so that, that you know, you know, people can. I say women, you know, making, you know, business women or whatever I said, mm -hmm. women making history in, you know, in whatever industry that you're in. And I feel the same way. I won't ever say small business owner. Because right. I remember the last time you was on and you was talking about the difference between the small business and the micro business and the dollar value of yep. revenue that you differentiates remember. between. Yes, it stuck with me because I was like, I am not no, I mean, my numbers say I'm a micro business, but my faith say I'm a business owner. That's it. I ain't saying micro. I ain't saying small. I'm a business owner. Period. I own a business. And, yep. and, and, and that period, point blank. So, yes. I, yeah, I, I, I get it. I, I get it. Yeah. So we have sense. to start ch changing our verbiage so that things start to change. 
right? Think about yeah. it, you know? And so that's what I am. I'm just so, I, 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 I hate when people just say it, but I'm going to tell you that I'm very excited. I'm excited about my life changing and I'm excited about the lives that I'm going to change. Mm. And that is what is driving me right now. I'm on fire. Like I can't just wait to see what happens. And do I think that everything is just going to be perfect? Absolutely. Absolutely not. Because if we think about it, before something big happens, something crazy happens, right? So instead of oh, when the craziness happens, me, you know that, Stacey, because it happens to you like clockwork. I just start being like, when you tell me something crazy, I'm like, yes, keep me posted about what's about to happen. Because that's the way we have to look at it now. Like, get yeah. excited when something crazy happens. Yeah, yeah. Because that means God has something on the other side of that. And and don't he always pull so, through? Yeah. He, always. Always pull, he always pulls through with the Okay, I see. Exactly. I get it. Oh my gosh. Okay. This was good. This this was really good. I hate that I only get one week. All right, but go ahead. I'll do my one little week. But go ahead. You said one week. week? My one little week because next week it's other people and week after that's other people. Well, honey, right. you can come back in April. <laughs> you can come back you know, you know, I mean, look. Y'all let her know if y'all want me back, okay? If y'all want to know what's going I can't on, want to be right now. On. I, this is my show. You know. <laughs> if I want you back, I'm bringing you back. Right, right. No, this is, this, this is, no but still, let me know. But I'm. Yeah, I, this, no, no, this is this is um this is great. This was even better than the last one you we did. Oh, and, thank you. And it was great. No, you can. I you can um. I feel like, and, and again, I, I didn't watch, you know, the footage from last year, um, but I, I remember it vaguely and just seeing, just just here now, not, and, and understand what I'm saying, there is, there's a level of maturity that I see, not that you're immature, but you just seem like, very settled. You knew what you was doing last year, Thanks. but you knew, like you, you literally right. spoke it. You was talking about this last year, and here you've pivot, and you can, you can just see, like, all right, she's found her rhythm, and she's mm -hmm. riding these waves to get where she needs to be and where she wants to be, and it is. On the onset of meeting you initially, it is nothing that looks like what you would do, based on right. your fashion sense, your, your your beauty sense. This is nothing that you do not look like the prototype. Well, number one, you ain't a white man, you know, obviously, but you're not. You don't look like the right. prototype right. of 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 what you're doing, but you seem you are very settled not settled as in like yeah. complacent yeah. but just like i'm where i'm supposed to be or like everything that happened right. in life everything that i've gone through everything even if i even because i didn't like you know the low test score got you right. to this amazing company that's going to do you know, so many amazing things. So, you know, when the, I think the, the Bible talks about we can't despise the days of small. We really can't. You never know. And it will be the least thing mm -hmm. that you did that you felt like was just something seasonal for what you needed to do at that time because that's where you were. And then it turns into this whole big thing that you didn't see coming at all. Not at all. And what I would tell people, if I can, on your on your podcast, to follow yeah. me on at yes. Celebrities Quality Painting. If you need a job and you want to go into the industry, reach out to me, Celebrities Quality Painting Inc. Uh, what else? If you have a house or, or anything that needs to be painted, please utilize my services, Celebrities Quality Painting Inc. Um, I'm here. Uh, yeah, so please reach out to me. Email celebritiesqualitypainting at gmail.com. My phone number is 718-213-8446.
this whole 59 minutes and I forgot to put the thing down here because I was so enthralled with <laughs> the that conversation. And now I see it. Right. Like it's okay. It's, 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 okay. it's fine. It's no, but this this is it just shows how good, you know, how great this um episode was. Well, Nika, I'm gonna let you go. So that you can enjoy yes. the rest of your Friday night and, and decompress and unpack all of the great things you learned this week and today. Thank you again for lending your time because, like I said, in, in the green room, because I'm speaking my show in the green room. Um, you, you know, I know you had a, a long week. So thank you for taking the time. Thank yes. you for kicking off. Women's History Month. I love you very, very, very much. I love you. Um, traveling mercies, <laughs> coming home, you know, and um, yeah, we will definitely um, connect. Definitely. Thank connect. you. Thank right? you. Yes. Good night, everyone. Thank you for having me, Stacey. Yes. Likewise. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. All right, y'all, listen, we are going to keep this train running. I hope that if you, you know, this was very informative to you. If you are watching a replay and you um, actually comment, just put the hashtag replay. This is Women's History Month, and I am blessed to be in contact and actually be friends with some dynamic, dynamic shot callers and women who are just doing the daggone thing. So thanks to um, Anika again. I hope that you are inspired. I hope you was taking notes. Um, yeah. So just, just two, two, uh, um, two announcements. My book Singlish is still available. It's going to be available um, on imcct.com, Barnes and Nobles, um, Water Springs Publishing and Amazon. I also have great merchandise. So if you are single, you can save with your chest and get that singleish merchandise. If you know somebody that's single, you know somebody that's newly single and they need a little help with kind of navigating themselves back into society as a single, um, it will be a great gift to them. Um, so yeah, check out my website and yeah. Next week, I am going to have my good sis, Toya Imani from Lipstick by Imani. You heard me talk about this woman. I am wearing her lipstick tonight, Fierce. It's a hot pink matte. Um, she is a boss, an absolute boss. She has her own uh, lipstick line and she's expanding. Y'all have heard me talk about this woman with my little, my, my red elegance matte. Um, she's going to be here next week. So um, if you're in beauty, whatever you are in, small business, mm, correct myself, if, it's the hunger. If you have a business, if you aspire to have a business, be a business owner, you do not want to miss next week. Share this with um, whomever, you know, watch it again, because this is some really, really good information. So I thank you all for tuning in. Um, have a great weekend. Be kind to each other. Uh, wash your face, drink your water, mind your business and check on your strong friends. And, and let's pray for the Africans that are stuck in Ukraine. Let's pray specifically for the Africans that are stuck in Ukraine because, Ukraine, they are not allowing them to get on the trains and board the trains to get out of Ukraine, to get to the borders of the surrounding countries. Um, I shared something on my personal page where there was a woman actually saying that the man in the Ukraine language, she was trying to get on the train and, and, and he said specifically, only Ukrainians, if you are black, you need to walk. Like what? So we, we are praying for... Those Africans that are trying to get back to Nigeria, get to other countries, um, that they will get the help and the assistance that they need to get out of there. Because unfortunately, racism and bigotry does not take a rest, even in the midst of a war. 
I didn't mean to end in a dark place, but I really wanted to say that. So I love you guys and I will see you.